Travel agency, what you see is what you get. Where's your friend? Not my friend, this is Trapp's traveling companion. Hey, hold on, who said I'm riding oh. shotgun? Who did he call with a sign? Lieutenant's not in yet! Why don't you guys flip a coin? I figure my luck is not running too hot for the last night's date. I don't like to fly, you know what I mean? I, I just don't like to fly, you know? I'm just telling you, it's something personal. How you doing, Sam? Like Who's gonna fly escort? Let's forget the whole thing, huh? Trap one? Morgan's gonna think you don't like her, you don't go along. I don't like okay. to fly, that's okay. the way to tell. I don't like to fly. Who cares? Uh-huh. No, I'm not getting into thing with a chick at the controls. She is not too thrilled about going with you either. See, I don't like to fly. Just step on it. I just don't like to fly, you know? Okay, bring 
Getting back on the sack, Lick. Nice. Okay. You're 20 feet. along this trail and across that ridge. Gloria, do you have the seismic monitors all set up? Yes, Professor. Good. Philip and John can take the reading. The rest of you can start gathering a sample for our lab testing. Okay, let's move out. All right. Yeah. Where is that, Sydney? Right here, sir. Ah, good, Sydney. Well, all right, let's go. Sydney, come on. You have to go, too. Come on! Geology is required. I know bugs is your major, but... Arachnids. That's what I said, bugs. And spiders are not bugs. They are members of the arachnid species. Whatever they are, they're still ugly. Now, come on! No, I can't get excited by a rock. Besides, I have this stitch in my side. I know you. You want to play with your bugs. No, honest. Really, I have this stitch in my side. Now, you go ahead. I'll catch up with you. <laughs> Come on, guys. Why does it have to be me? Someone's got to run this ship and Coleman's out sick, so why not you? Yeah, Sarge. Because I'm really not so hot on the idea, Trent. It's Trent. like eating Sarge. It takes a little getting used to it, but you learned a little bit. <laughs> you think so? You sure. Think <laughs> Just think. You won't have to pull any more work details. Yeah, and think about this. You get your coffee in a mug instead of a plastic cup, Sarge. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Well, maybe you guys got something. That might not be such a bad idea. I mean, Sergeant Thibodeau. Acting Sergeant Thibodeau. Acting Sergeant Thibodeau. Up, two, three, four. Up, two, three, four. Up, two, three, four. Up, two, three, four. Well, that's our permission to take off, sir. Don't even start, Morgan. TV, you know you're scheduled to fly with me today. Is it fixed? Yes, it's fixed. You are sure? Yes, I am sure. How can I be sure? You'll be sure when we go up there and there's no smoke coming out of it. Up, two, three, four. Up, two, three, four. Attention, 240 Robert Yannett. See the man, Rock Trail 14, north of Deer Point, Rhea, missing hiker. All right, let's hit it. Robert 2 and 5. We're at 1097 location. Request 240 Robert 3 as backup. 
Sidney. I was really more interested in arachnids than geology. Sir? Uh, he said he had a stitch in his side, but I know he really wanted to stay behind and play with his bugs. His what? Uh, arachnids. Can we uh, get a description? Certainly. Uh, we... Uh, Grove and Kestenbaum, you guys take the first cutoff coming up and head west. Kroll and Sulky, you guys take the next one. Trap and I will take the pines. 240 Robert Sam to 240 Robert Air. Air by. Morgan, start your search north of Deer Point, then coordinate with other Robert units on the ridge. Here are the Cirques. Male, white, 140 pounds, wearing a blue flannel shirt, blue jeans, and Olivier Souls. Olivier Souls. I guess we do it. You start with the gear, I'll call it in. All right. 240 Robert Sam to 240 Robert 4 and 5. 1019 my location, east end of Pine Lake. I think we have a dive. at any out gulch while they're checking underwater. You know, caves, the geology class. Right, we will right after we cover the swamp area. Electrical system. Morgan, this whole thing is electrical. Well, it's probably just the circuit shorting out or something. You know, I was hoping for a more positive response than that. Could you pull this thing over? I'd like to get out and now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just take it easy. I'm going to take it in and have a look and I'll fix it right up. <laughs> 40 Robert Air to SRC.
Why, anything? Yeah, trouble. I've got a problem with my electrical system. What's the story of that chopper yesterday, Morgan? About time you traded in? Looks like some weather might move in. Yeah, we're gonna be fighting sunset in a couple hours. All right, uh, Trap and I will take the wooded area to the north. Oh, you guys got the fire roads? Sulky, take the west ridge, huh? <clears throat> uh, looks like they could use a pair of extra feet going through those rocks. You gonna be okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. I'll be in the air before you guys make crisp point. All right, let's try to move on. <laughs> What's the matter? Don't you like commuting with Mother Nature? Yeah, I don't mind commuting with it, but when you start wrestling with it... <sighs> Break. Olivier Souls. Can you see anything? Ah, uh, no, not really. Let me get a light. Sydney! Sydney! I see something. I hope we're not rescuing another tree branch. Ah, uh, this could be him, Trap. Okay. We got enough rope. Look, this is an old mine shaft. There might be gases down there, noxious gases. You're not going down without a can of survive air. We don't carry survive air. Then we'll call Crescenta Valley and have them send one up. It'll take forever. You're not going down without it, Trap. Look, we don't need a weather report to see what's coming, Thib. And it's getting leaked. Forget it. You're not going down, and as acting sergeant, that's an order. Now I'll go make a call and get our gear. Yeah, and we may have found the missing hiker in an old mine shaft. But we need to survive air. Can you help us out? That's a 10-4, Thib. We'll try. The Robert Four reports heavy rain in the fork area. Some roads are washed out. Okay, uh, I'll try to get a hold of Robert Air, see if they can transport. Stand by. 240 Robert Sam to 240 Robert Air. Morgan, do you copy? Air by, what's up? Listen, we may have found the hiker, but we need to survive air. How you doing? Well, I think I found the problem. I'm not quite ready to fly yet. Sydney, can you hear me? Take your time, plenty of time up here. He's alive, but shocky. He's got a fractured tibia for sure and possible anything. Can we get a litter down there? No, no way. We'll have to bring him up in a diaper.
And there's some unstable dynamite down here. I I, I, I hate guys that tell you I, I, I told you so. So just don't bother with that. Take it easy, take it easy. We're gonna get out of here. Sydney, no big deal. You're gonna be fine. Man, that storm's gonna hit any time. I know that. I'm a sergeant, remember? It's it's gonna rain. That's right, Sydney. The sergeant here just figured that out. Okay? Robert 2, do you read me? What happened up there? Robert 2, what happened? 
Sounded like an H-bomb. Negative, Rove. Just a close call, that's all. That's a good 10-4. Listen, it's a 22 on the hiker. We found him. How is he? Huh? He's got a fractured tibia. But he seems stable. We're gonna come on down with him. Ah, no you're not. We've got a flash flood down here. The cross fork is washed out. Well, I guess we stay up here with him until it clears, huh? Hmm. Morgan. Morgan. <laughs> 240 Robert Sand, the 240 Robert Air. 240 Robert Sand, the 240 Robert Air. Morgan, do you copy? Morgan here! I heard you found him! Yeah, that's 10-4. We got him, and uh, we were wondering about getting out of here. Well, I got some good news and some bad news. Good news is I'm in great shape. And the bad news? The bad news is the electrical system isn't. So, I guess we're stuck. Wait a minute, I got it. <laughs> I got it. The Norris Captain, up, up, uh, near uh, Holly Campground. <laughs> That's out of season, Thrap. That's gonna be locked up tighter than a drum. So we'll unlock it. <laughs> You want to, uh, you want to get Morgan? Sure, sure. Try credit card. Sydney, remind me to run your name when we get back. Hide your credit. Uh, give me a hand here, Morgan. Okay. Ah, that's a break. There's some stuff in here. I want you to change your clothes. Then maybe you can fix us up a little some of these. Me? Why me? Well, you know, fixing food, that's kind of... Uh... Women's work? <laughs> you think because I'm a woman that I'm going to go in the kitchen and uh, cook the meals and... Is that yeah. what you think? <laughs> Morgan. Morgan, trust me. I mean, it's much better for you if you go in and changing or whatever's in that bag and get nice and warm. You'll be feeling great, I promise you. And after that, maybe you can whip us up a little something to eat. Look, believe me, Morgan. Put on whatever in the bag and you're going to be very dry and we're going to be very wet and very jealous. I promise you. Hey, Trap. Mm -hmm. You know, we're gonna 
be here a while. Yeah, you're right. And it'd really be nice if we could get along, you know, like uh, one big happy family. Hey, hey, don't look at me. You know, talk to her. And I wonder if the wall started out this way. How are you feeling? I'm kind of sick to my stomach. My name! Yeah, I found a can of condensed milk and some aspirin. Now all we need is a cat with a headache. Oh, and there's a can of uh, tomato soup in here, too. Uh, perfect. Do you know how to cook canned soup? You can't make canned soup? Cooking never was one of my stronger points. I know. Look, first you find a pot. Then you find a stove, which is under the pot. And then you find a can opener, which I can't find. You can field strip an entire jet helicopter, and yet you can't open a simple can of soup. These hands were meant for greater things. Like starting a fire? Yeah. How you doing? Well, it's not soup yet, and I don't think it's ever going to be. That looks terrible. I saw something like this in an old monster movie. And what it did was it grew up and ate the earth. <laughs> it's got a chance, got a chance. Uh. That's funny. I smell something burning. What are you guys doing? Davy Crockett here was making a fire and... Uh, the flow is broken, and Betty Crocker can't go in there and grab a lousy can of soup by the trap. Look, Sidney's in here complaining of abdominal pains, and he's running a fever. So do you mind if we take care of that first, huh? Could be what? Could be appendix. No, I, I just said could be. Let's uh, start an IV. Yeah, I'll get it and hook the walkie-talkie into the bronco. Two forty-five. 
240 Robert Sam requesting a direct patch to Lock and Yon Emergency. Lock and Yon, you copy? 240 Robert Sam requesting a direct patch to Lock and Yon Emergency. Come in, Lock and Yon. You copy? This is La Cañada ER 240. Robert, stand by. It's 240, Robert, call him. This is Dr. Wilson. What do you got? Doctor, we have a patient with increasing abdominal pain in the lower right quadrant. What are his vital signs? Temperature is 100.2. BP is 160 over 110. Pulse is 130. Respiration is 24 and very shallow. Is he diaphoretic? Yeah, and he's complaining about nausea. You probably have an acute appendicitis. Administer an IV, lactated ringers, 1,000 milliliters per minute, O2, 8 to 10 milliliters per minute, and transport immediately. That's a negative on the transport, Doc. Uh, We're stuck in a mountain cabin in the Angeles Crest Forest. The appendix could burst. It probably will burst. Did you hear me? If the appendix ruptures, peritonitis will set in, and the infection will spread through the lower body. Doctor, we know that. We know that. What are you suggesting? You know what I'm suggesting. Doctor, we are paramedics, not surgeons. You have no choice. You must remove the appendix. There must be somewhere we can stabilize until we can get him out of here. There is no other way. I'll take full responsibility for this decision. You must operate. I guess I'm the one who had a year of med school. Right. Stand by, doctor. We'll set it up. Okay. Where do you want to do it? Yeah, right here. Get the place in. Right over there? Okay, I'll get the OB kit and set all this up. just fine. What if? What if you save his life? Thanks. Well, Sid, doctor says you got it. What are you going to do? I'm going to take it out. You ever done that before? Piece of cake. <laughs> okay. It's been 15 minutes since we administered 8 milligrams of morphine. Good. Now give him the Valium. Two cc's. cc's of Valium on board. Now for the lidocaine. 15 cc's. 5 cc's per cut. Ready to proceed. Now, the initial incision isn't too difficult. 
That's easy for you to say, Doctor. Now just hang in there. Now for the incision, you have to give yourself at least two inches. good. how to find the peritoneum. It's a white, shiny membrane. We're there. It's attached to a small tube. A small tube atta attached to what, doctor? Pete, doctor, a small tube attached to what? Hello, do you read me? 240. 240, Robert, do you read me? Come in, doctor. Come in, doctor, repeat. Lost I hope this is what he meant. I guess we cut right here. Oh, looks like an umbilical cord. I guess you cut it like an umbilical cord. feeling, Sid? Fine. Look, I just wanted to say thanks to all of you. You're welcome. All in a day's work. Oh, my specimen bag. Right here. See you around. Trap, you ride with Sidney. Uh, if it's all the same with you. I just assume drive. Uh, no, uh, not me. First the solenoid, then the electrical systems. Who knows what's next? Mm -mm. Wrong. Hey! What's in the bag? My collection. I have some very nice specimens. Do you want to see them? Yeah, I'd love to. Okay. Look, guys, I mean, uh, I don't mean to pull rank. But as acting sergeant, I will tell you... Morgan, what's wrong? I'm not flying anything. Now, wait a, wait a minute. Now, I understand what you're saying. But the chances of something happening with the chopper again are you very slim. Look. Take a look! Whoa! <laughs> you got it? 
get out of here. Yeah. Oh, go in the Bronco. <laughs> Forty Robert is the actual emergency services detail of the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. We greatly appreciate their full cooperation and technical assistance.